Okay, this hose reel stack is a combination of a um, real craft hose reel that's capable of handling up to uh, 250 feet of three quarter inch jackhammer hose, which you see on here now. Um, there's a um, rapid reel above it on a bracket that's mounted to the side rail for real good rigidity and ease of access. So this, uh, this thing isn't going anywhere. Um, this um, rapid reel has a lock on it, so we're not worried about this unraveling. Uh, so does the uh, hose reel below, has a lock down here to keep the hose, hose from moving. So we've got a really secure system here and easy access. Also, on the side here, I want to draw attention to the swivel that we use for garden hose pressure. This swivel system is super simplified in being one o-ring that you can change really easily. A quick coupler with grease between the nipple and the o-ring makes a really good swivel at garden nose pressure only. So by removing the high pressure swivel, which is not that great a thoroughfare for high volume at low pressure, we added a quick coupler here, a half inch size with a stainless steel nipple and we've put anti-seize compound on the nipple plus grease up against the o-ring so this slips and slides the, ho the, the hose reel swivel in this configuration can last easily a year and when you want to change the seal it's just an o-ring it takes one minute to change this and you're good for another 12 months you'll never buy a replacement hose reel swivel for this machine that's as simple as it needs to be on this system we've got a high pressure hose swivel like normal um, that we would uh, use in a traditional context you know we like the stainless steel shaft swivels with the high temperature seals that's fine and dandy but what I want to show you while I'm on this side of the reel is that we've got a placement available for a for a chemical injector the chemical injector can be added in this configuration for downstream soap by simply undoing the twist fast coupler and screwing in this chemical injector into this configuration. Easy access, okay? I also want to draw your attention to the ST6162 uh, style chemical injector. It has a variable venturi. So instead of the adjustment being for the amount of soap, this adjusts when you get soap. So if you have the chemical injector um, all the way in, adjusted all the way in to close off the Venturi, no matter how much hose you're running, no matter how small a, a flow restriction it becomes with the addition of a lot of hose, you're gonna be able to get chemical to come, okay? And if you open this all the way, you have really good flow through the injector when it's not being used. So for you guys that want to have a chemical injector live on the hose reel, all you have to do is leave this thoroughfare open all the way and it's no restriction to flow. You pull out what hose you're going to use, put that downstream uh, nozzle on the end of the wand, open the gun. If it draws soap, leave it there. If you need to adjust it, you adjust it in until it gives you soap. No matter what length of hose you're using, that's going to work. That means you don't have to have five different chemical injectors for using five different combinations of hose length. The adjustable Venturi chemical injector, the ST62 made by Sutner, is the best injector on the planet for you guys that want to use extra hose lengths. A couple of cool tools.